Have you ever wondered when looking at the data speeds on your phone what exactly that E icon actually stands for? Well, what it stands for is Edge, which in sound form, the name doesn't really tell us too much of what that is about. But in essence, it is part of the broader spectrum of 2G technologies. So a pretty old standard at this point when it comes to mobile communications. In fact, the rollout of Edge began all the way back in 2003. And as you can imagine from that, the actual data speeds are pretty abysmal, maxed out at around 384 kilobits per second. That's right, not even a megabit. That is downright unusable in most modern use cases. So why exactly could your phone be using such an old standard? Well, it all depends on what kind of service availability there is in your area. For the most part, your phone will just connect to the fastest thing available where you are. And seeing how much 5G and 4G infrastructure has grown, you're pretty much always connected to that. In fact, the odds of you even getting connected to 2G or Edge are extremely slim. Because of how old that technology is, most companies have just been tearing down that infrastructure, making it no longer available. Now, if your phone is running into some issues, where for example, it is unable to reach 5G, or maybe your provider's infrastructure for 5G or 4G is experiencing some downtime, then it can switch you back to something slower, like say 3G or even 2G or Edge, if your provider still even has all of the infrastructure in place for such an old standard. Though again, most of the time, that really won't be a thing nowadays, given how we have much, much faster standards and 3G is pretty much the minimum you'll experience in most places in the world in 2025. But what if your phone is still insisting on using 2G or Edge? How exactly can you make sure it's running at whatever the fastest standard is that your phone supports, which most likely will be 5G by this point? Well, here's how you do it on Samsung. You wanna go into your settings and then tap into connections. From there, go into mobile networks and tap on network mode. In the list that would then pop up, you get to choose exactly which speeds your phone will use, as well as the fallback speeds if those aren't available. So make sure to select the fastest option available, which will most likely be 5G. On a Google Pixel, you want to once again go into your settings, and then tap on the topmost option, network and internet. Then go into SIMS, then preferred network type, and once again make sure that 5G is selected. If you're using an iPhone and iOS, then you want to go into settings, then tap on mobile data or cellular, which depending on where you are, it will use one of those two names. From there, you want to select your SIM card from the list, followed by voice and data, and then once again make sure that 5G auto is selected. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about what that mysterious E stands for in the context of data speeds on your smartphone. If you have found this video helpful, then hey, maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.